Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Rostalgia. I am Steve and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Anycubic Cobra 2 Neo 3D printer. Now I do want to give a big shout out to the team over at Anycubic for sending me this printer to share with you guys on the channel. Now in this video I'll be sharing my experience with this machine covering everything from its design and setup to its performance and print quality. So let's go ahead and get started. Now first up, let's talk about the design and build quality of the Anycubic Cobra 2 Neo. This printer features a fairly sleek and modern design with a sturdy aluminum frame. The overall construction does feel quite robust, giving it a solid presence on your workbench. Now when it comes to the setup itself, the unboxing experience was actually super straightforward. The printer comes with most parts pre-assembled, making the assembly process quick and hassle-free. Now we really only had to attach between 8 to 10 screws in total, and it didn't take me much longer than 20 minutes before I was ready to start printing. Anycubic also includes all of the necessary tools and accessories that you need, which is a nice touch. Now one of the standout features is the 2.4 inch LCD screen paired with a control knob. The interface is really straightforward and easy to navigate, allowing you to adjust the settings and monitor your prints with relative ease. Now the automatic bed leveling system is also a huge plus, ensuring that you get the perfect first layer every time without manual adjustments. Now let's go ahead and talk about the performance and the print quality. The Cobra 2 Neo offers a build volume of 250 millimeters by 220 millimeters by 220 millimeters, which is actually quite generous for a printer in this price range. It supports a range of filament types, including PLA, ABS, PETG, and TPU, but for the purposes of this video, I really only used PLA, so that's what I'm gonna be focusing on in terms of the actual print quality. Now, in terms of that print quality, I've actually been pretty impressed. The level of detail and accuracy is excellent, and as you can see from these sample prints, whether you're working on intricate models or larger projects, the Cobra 2 Neo does deliver fairly consistent and reliable results. And I found that I was able to print quite small and detailed items with a layer height of 0.1 millimeter. And for the most part, they actually came out fairly nice. But I do think, especially with the more intricate designs, you're gonna have much better quality results with a medium to large size print. I also noticed that my sweet spot was about 0.15 millimeters in terms of the layer height to get a nice finish while also not taking hours and hours and hours to get these prints finished. Now, when it comes to the print speed, the Cobra 2 Neo can reach up to 250 millimeters per second, which is actually relatively fast compared to a lot of other models. However, in my experience, pushing this printer to those speeds just really led to a significant increase in print failures. Now, the company does have a recommendation that you do not exceed 150 millimeters per second, but it is important to find that balance between speed and quality. And when I was doing my prints, I often found a lot of my prints, especially the perimeter layers, were dropped down to 50 millimeters per second, just so that way they looked nice and smooth. Now, shifting over to the downside, the noise level is actually a little bit higher than some of the other printers that I've used. If you're working in a shared space or in a quiet environment, this is something to keep in mind. And then of course, the other thing that I just mentioned was the print speed, 250 millimeters per second is probably not a speed that you are ever gonna be able to use. Now the printer comes with its own slicing software, which is functional and relatively easy to use called Anycubic Slicer. It is also compatible with popular software like Cura and Prusa Slicer, giving you flexibility in your workflow and your connectivity options include a USB or a micro SD card, making it super easy to transfer your files and start printing very quickly. Essentially, you're just gonna be dropping the files on the root of the SD card, popping it into the printer and it can pick it up right away and you can effectively print within seconds. Before we get into the pros and cons, let's talk about the price. 
The Anycubic Cobra 2 Neo is priced competitively at about $240, making it a great option for those looking to get a balance between performance and affordability. Now keep in mind this model does go on sale from time to time, so if you are lucky, you can sometimes find it for as low as under $200. Now this is a great option for people who are just getting into the hobby or are just kind of hobbyist in their pastime, but they don't take 3D printing too seriously. For the features and build quality it offers, it's definitely a strong contender in the low to mid range 3D printer market. Now to summarize, here are the main pros and cons of the Anycubic Cobra 2 Neo. For the pros, it is a user friendly setup and interface. It's also got good build volume and nice print quality. It's got really sturdy construction and I was really impressed by this. It feels really well designed. And the last thing is, I think it's actually pretty competitively priced. And then on the con side, we have higher noise levels, which makes it a little bit annoying to be in the same room when it's actually running a print. And although it is advertised to print at high speeds, you're often forced to print at significantly lower speeds for the print quality. And then it also does have relatively limited upgradability. Now, overall, the Anycubic Cobra 2 Neo is a fantastic 3D printer that offers great value for the price. It is user friendly, it delivers high quality prints, and is perfect for both beginners and some low level hobbyists. If you're looking for a reliable and affordable 3D printer, the Cobra 2 Neo is definitely worth considering. Now, if you're interested in learning a little bit more or picking one of these up, as always, I'm gonna leave some links in the description down below. But that is pretty much all I've got for you guys in this video. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll speak to you guys again real soon.